morning. Good morning. What do you want? Police. Right. What do you want? Forgive me for pointing, but have you ever seen that car before? No. No, I haven't. Hey, he's a cute little fella. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I think I saw that car at an agency yesterday. Uh, now, permit me to inform you of the following. Uh, first, say nothing that would jeopardize your constitutional rights. Uh, second, the minute that you get downtown, I would advise that you get a good lawyer. Shall we go? Go? But what for? On suspicion of grand theft. Look, now, wait a minute. There's something uh, uh, cockeyed about this. How did that little car get here? I share your curiosity. Shall we go? <laughs> I'll do it. OK. I'll do it, but I just want to go on record. I have, I have seen some crummy stunts in my time used to sell cars, but this beats everything. To plant this bug in the possession of an innocent man and then to accuse me of How stealing it. Damn you, sir. Are you suggesting that I would stoop to such tactics? That's exactly what I'm suggesting. In the first place, it might interest you to know that under normal circumstances, I would never sell a car to someone with whom I am not, well, shall we say, socially compatible. Socially compatible? Please, you sell a please, car? Let's not, let's not go through that again. I think we've worked it out very well. Mr. Douglas needs a car, and for a very low amount down and the usual monthly payments, <laughs> the car will become his. Very well. Even though my personal inclination is to have Mr. Douglas clapped into jail and this four-wheel contrivance dropped into the bay. I think Mr. Thorndike is being very fair. Fair? It's not fair. I'm being muscled. I just want you to know that I know I know it and I don't like it. I'll draw up the papers. Uh, would you come with me, please? Um... And then get Mr. Douglas and his acquisition out of here before I lose my temper. What is... 